Hello and welcome to PVTV News. I'm Seth and I'm here to give you the latest news. The U.S. Navy rescued three men after spotting their message on a beach spelling out help with palm leaves in an uninhabited island of Fanatic. The April 7th rescue came three days after the trio's 19-foot boat crashed after setting out to sea from Pulup in Micronesia. The Navy used a P-8A Poseidon Maritime surveillance aircraft operating out of Japan to respond to the call for assistance for the U.S. Coast Guard. A small boat was sent, then sent from Pulup to recover the men. The sailors reported their vessel was taken over by a large wave on April 4th. Fortunately, they had a life preservers and spent the night swimming safely to the Fanatic Island after four nautical miles from pull-up. An inspiring 37-year-old doctor has been getting from place to place using only wooden stools in place of legs. Lee Johong's legs had, been, had to be amputated after a car accident in 1983 when she was only four. But instead of feeling despair over the loss, Lee was motivated to become a doctor. After acquiring her medical degree in 2000, Lee set up a village clinic in Chongqing, China. Since then, she has been the caretaker of all 1,000 residents, using two stools instead of feet to get around. Her husband, Zing, offers to transport her to the patients to sick to leave the house by carrying her on his back with his assistance. She had handled over 6,000 cases in the region. Love of baseball was an easy transition for this mathematics teacher because baseball is all about the numbers and with number 105 on her jersey for the total years, this split fire has been laughing. Major League Baseball threw her on Texas party on Wednesday, allowing Elizabeth Sullivan to throw out the first pitch at the Rangers game. She practiced in her yard throwing overhanded, saying that when she was in school, they only allowed girls to pitch underhanded. She attributes her long life to drinking three Dr. Pepper sodas every day since she was a girl. She knows they contain a lot of sugar, but sees no ill effects. She said she's watched every Texas Ranger game for the last 15 years. When she was informed she would be throwing out the first pitch, she hooted and hollered, but she wasn't nervous. She said, joking after you pass 100, you don't get nervous. Police officers may have a soft spot for coffee and donuts, but this officer is a natural at the game of hot scotch and at being compassionate. When two Huntington Beach police officers were dispatched after a call about a suspicious vehicle, they found an 11-year-old girl and her mother living in it. While one of the officers discussed housing arrangements with mom, Officer Pricer exercised his hopping skills for the young lady and taught her how to play. There is never seen artwork that's actually good enough to eat. Check out this California-based artist making four by six foot murals made entirely out of jelly beans with each piece taking about 50 to 60 hours of work, Kristen Cummings recreates delicious versions of Van Gogh's Starry Night, Joanne's Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring, and Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Kristen starts out with a frame board on her own acrylic painting to guide her colors. Then she carefully placed each individual jelly bean would spray adhesives to make them stick. The tasty creation had sold with price tags as expensive as $5,000. Each creation can take another anywhere from 9,000 to 12,000 jelly beans to complete. Since being hired as Jelly Belly's official artist in 2010, Kristen has been commissioned to create dozens of contemporary and historical pieces. This 11-year-old girl has turned her grandmother's flaxseed lemonade recipe into a national business 
and she is donating 10% of the proceeds to saving honeybees. Michaela Ulmer became an expert on bees after getting stung twice in a week. Her mother suggested that researching the insects may help her conquer overdeveloped fear of them. When she learned about the plight of bee population that were dying in, from colony collapse disorder and the danger it posed to our food chain, Michaela had to do something to help them. She decided she could act and add local honey to their grandmother's lemonade and sell it. With a portion of her profit going to international groups working to protect the pollinators, Michaela's plans for a lemonade business called Me and the Bees won her $60,000 in startup money on the TV show Shark, Shark Tank and caught the attention of Whole Foods, which put her products on the shelves of 55 stores in the southern U.S. The Austin, Texas girl, sixth grader, has been announced as one of the top 10 innovators of the year by the Music and Technology Festival South by Southwest and President Obama invited her to the last year's White House Kids State Dinner. She also leads workshops on how to save honeybees. The preteen entrepreneur is busy working on new flavors and business ideas for her once skeptical friends who now are eager to start their own businesses. Now we move on to Matt to tell us about a strange but wonderful coincidence. On March 20th, the Thoyer brothers each welcomed baby into the world, coincidentally at the same time. Cassidy Thoyer, born in Doher, Doham, North Carolina, and Brookie Thoyer, born 80 miles away in Pinehurst, were birthed by the brothers' wives at exactly the same minute. Nurses at both hospitals say they never heard of such strange coincidence occurring in childbirth before. It seemed like these newly born cousins were destined to enjoy a very special bond. Michael Elenoff is showing a lot of ma more maturity than a coming off of age party would demand because a mitzvah means good deed in Hebrew. The 13-year-old dedicated his Jewish celebration of bar mitzvah to collecting gifts for others instead of himself. He asked all of his guests to bring toys for a young girl who had recently suffered major burns across her legs and torso and received more than 150 toys with extras being given to the pediatric burn unit at Mer Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh. He even gave Maria a portion of the money he was gifted on the occasion, inspired by the generosity Maria wanted to give back to, and donated some of hers to the young burn victims recovering at the hospital. A group of our Kansas State troopers went above and beyond for a 10-year-old boy after no one showed up to his birthday party. Toxie's mother was heartbroken when not one of the 21 kids could come to their home in Hot Springs Village. She posted a plea on Facebook reminding parents of how important this can be to other families. A message that was seen by someone who had a special connection with Officer in Blue they came with a birthday cake and many presents. This trooper even showed him all of the sirens and controls in their patrol car. The dedicated bomb sniffing dog is getting the recognition she deserves. A 12 year old German shepherd named Luca has spent the last six years protecting Marines by smelling out explosives overseas and not a single soldier has ever died on her watch. Corporal Han Rodriguez felt so much gratitude to the port, to the pooch for the number of times Luca saved the lives of her Marines. He vowed not to leave her side at the hospital during her recovery of, after losing a leg. Luca is the first U.S. Marine Corps dog to be awarded the Daikin Medal in honor of courage and bravery. Sperm whales have known have been known for their odd looking head, but now as the blocky head has been another use, raming other wells, it was greatly hypothesized that sperm wells used their massive head to fly on other invading wells 
but the marine biology community did not want to jump to conclusives and thought they did not have enough evidence to go in any further into making it a theory. The reason they did this is because in the sperm whale's head there are organs that make son sonar clicking noise to communicate. And if these bloated whales crashed their heads together, it would damage those important organs. But a group of biologists have may have found a way to prove it by making a stimulation they see that because of a flat and oil tissue, the organs would come out of this ramming unharmed. While there is more testing that needs to be done, this is a story or a step in the right direction to better understand the sperm well. Visitors must don, don scuba gear in order to explore a new art gallery located 90 feet below the surface. The exhibit is made up of 12 photo illustrations mounted on this sunken remains of a, dove, er, world, a World War II era ship in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. The USNS Vinberg was initially sunken off the coast of Florida in 2009 and has since become the world's second largest artificial reef. This ship once tracked space launches off Florida's Cape Canaveral and monitored Soviet missiles during the Cold War. The illustrations are encased in plexiglass and silicone sealed steel frames to protect them from water damage. Scuba divers may view the Berkue style illustrations taken by Austrian photographer Andreas Frank through art. August. David Douglas is a very strong guy in more ways than one, but he says his best friend Lindsay Ratcliffe is even stronger. Lindsay suffer suffers from a rare genetic disorder known as progeria. It's a disease that causes children to age 8 to 10 times faster than a, a normal and leaves them with an average lifespan of 13 years. However, according to Douglas, one would never think that Lindsay, already 12 years old, is struggling because of the way she is always smiling. Douglas, a motivational speaker, weightlifter, and former Marine, has found inspiration in the little trooper he calls his little sis. The unlikely pair met at a relentless a weightlifting fundraiser for children with their diseases, and the two have been best friends ever since. We now go to John to give us information about the upcoming Star Wars spinoff. Star Wars is one of the most popular movie franchises in history. The amount of movies is going to go up, actually, this December. The Rogue One is a Star Wars story set in the early days of the Rebellion, somewhere in between Episode 3 and Episode 4, with a legendary group of X-Wing pilots. The trailer for this spinoff dropped last week and excited fans. The trailer saw everything from a newly built Death Star to a pre-Episode 4 Yavin 4, and it seems that Rogue One team will be trying to steal the Death Star plans from the Empire and is hunted by a very powerful admiral. And old fans will be happy to see that there are some nostalgic scenes for them, including at, -AT invasion and a possible scene with Darth Vader, and his iconic breathing can be heard at the end of the trailer if you listen very closely. Forever, there may be no more perfect real-life examples than Kelvin and Alfonso. Their lives growing up in Mozambique were nearly identical. Two young kids with parents who died of AIDS, then orphans supporting each other through the hardships of having no family. The boys were both adopted at 10 years old separately by American families living in the same town of Gilbert, Arizona. The now 18-year-old... What? The now 18-year-old's old buddies have been inseparable ever since they went to the same high school. Both played varsity soccer and both accepted to Brigham Young University in the fall. Both want to continue their education so they can help the people of Mozambique 
particularly making adoptions easier for future parents of the many orphans like them back home. Fishermen in Perry County will have the opportunity to catch a different breed of fish in the fall this year. Perry County and the fish in the city of Perryville have joined the Missouri Department of Conservation to bring over 3,000 rainbow trout to Legion Lake. Presiding Commissioner Carl hopes the project will bring fishing back to Perryville and to promote the beauty of Legion Lake along with the surrounding park. The program called the Delayed Mortality Trout Fishers Fisheries Program has brought trout to places like Geising Lake, Grateri Lake, and August A. Bush Conservation Area. The estimated cost of the program is around $8,000. The Missouri Department of Conservation will pay 50% of the bill, leaving the county and city to split the remaining balance. Starting February 1st, 2017, any bait may be used and four trout may be kept. Regardless of size, all fishers between the ages 16 and 64 must have a valid fishing Missouri fishing permit. Any fishers harvesting trout must possess a trout permit as well, which have or which are seven dollars. Rainbow trout require waters that are constantly below 70 degrees, so they are usually limited to places like Ozark Springs branches and. Lake Taney Chemo. It is believed by many that the uncaught trout will not survive when the warm seasons hit. They will take their place in the cycle of life and simply sink to the bottom. All of the actors in the Blue Apple Theater co Company live with learning disabilities, but that hasn't stopped them from lacking Shakespeare and seriously challenging the world's perception of what it means to be or not to be a, a person with autism and Down syndrome through their live performance, performances and hamps, hamps I, I can't say that word. England, over the last 10 years, the cast of the Blue Apple Theater has developed a deep sense of normal normal last see in accomplishment more than 30 able and learning disabled adults and on the theater staff have helped each other to build confidence while also fine tuning skills through various workshops and team building activities the unique theater in winchester also has extensive film and dance programs available to it its members, thus providing a full range of arts training for the students. As a welcoming ha haven for the expression and release of struggles for folks with disability, Blue Apple was again welcome to Rion Globe Theatre in London to put on an annual performance of Shakespeare in the, its original setting. Thanks for watching. This has been PBTV signing off.